we know that the atom consists of a small dense nucleus that contains protons and neutrons at the center and then the electrons are arranged in energy levels around the center of the atom or around the nucleus and they are arranged in order of increasing energy basically saying that the electrons in the first energy level have the least energy and then every energy level that you move outward the energy would increase now since the first energy level has the lowest energy we often refer to that as the ground state an electron in the first energy level is in the ground state because it has the lowest possible energy now every different element has different size gaps between those energy levels basically saying that for a specific element the energy required for each energy level is different so for example if we take an arbitrary element and we say that for this element electrons in the first energy level have three joules of energy electrons in the second energy level then have seven joules of energy and electrons in the third energy level have 15 joules of energy obviously the number of energy levels increases as long as the energy increases now what is possible here is transitions between these energy levels so the most common transition that we'll find is an electron in the first energy level moving up into the second energy level now as we can see an electron in the first energy level would have three joules of energy in order for it to move into the second energy level it would have to gain four joules of energy once it has done this and moved into a higher energy level we say that it is now in an excited state it has moved from the ground state the lowest possible energy it has absorbed energy and moved into an excited state further excited states are also possible it is possible for that electron to jump straight from the first to the third energy level and that would mean it needs to go from 3 to 15 joules so it would have to gain 12 joules and still it would then be in an excited state so as you can see when electrons absorb energy they move up an energy level into a more excited state it is also possible here for an electron in the second energy level to move up to the third energy level in that case it would be moving from 7 to 15 so it would be required to absorb 8 and we say once again it is in the excited state those are for energy absorptions the opposite of that is also possible so once an electron has absorbed energy and moved to an excited state it is only a matter of time before that electron drops back down into its ground state and since it required the gaining of four joules in order to move up into an excited state it can now lose those four joules when moving down back into its ground state in the same way this electron that moved from the second to the third energy level can now move back down all of these basically in reverse where a move up an energy level requires an absorption of energy and moving down an energy level gives off energy or emits energy so in conclusion every element has unique energy levels basically saying that this element may have three and seven for its first two energy levels another element would have five and twelve and so you can tell an element by looking at those energy levels secondly in order for an electron to move up into an excited state it must absorb energy and third when an electron moves down from an excited state back to its original state or back to the ground state energy must be emitted.